Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Chemistry. And of course today we are going to continue our lesson on organic chemistry. Specifically, we are going to start talking about the alkynes. All right, alkynes. So I'm done with alkenes. I'm done, done with alkenes. And today we are beginning with all the alkynes. Alkynes are also known as what? Acetylenes. Okay, take note of that, all right? Alkynes are also known as what? Acetylenes. We say alkenes are paraffins, alkenes are olefins, alkynes are acetylenes, all right? Please, it's very important to take note of that. And do not forget that this tutorial is brought to you by the one and only O3 Schools Jam app. If you want to succeed in your exam and not succeed, please go to Play Store immediately, all right, with all sense of seriousness and download the O3 School Jam app immediately and start practicing your way to success, all right? The app has all you need to succeed, all right? So I'm going to talk about the app in a moment. But before that, let us see a question from the app. This is a Jam Pass question, 2001, number 48, all right? And it says, which of the following represents hybridization in a time? Which of the following represents hybridization in a time? All right. Remember, a time is what? It's an alkyne. All right. A say sp2, B say sp2d, C says sp3, D says sp. Okay. So when we are done with this class, we will be able to answer this question easily. All right. And more questions that we have sourced from this wonderful application. The application asks all the past questions you need to succeed in your exam, all the past questions from Jamba in the application. That is one. There's the lecture notes designed to make you practice. So you do not need textbooks. Okay, you can study from those lecture notes and then we'll sort the questions. Then what is more is that there's a question search feature. So I can go to the app and search and just search for our kinds. Questions on that kind that have been asked from all years will come out for me to answer. What is more is that there's a UTME mock challenge. That is a challenge we we'll conduct for every jam today. We we'll conduct for all students at the writing jam for this year. All right, you compete with your mates, you win a lot of amazing prizes, you see your score release every Saturday. And with that, you build confidence towards the main exam. All right, so you're able to track your progress. So please do not sleep on the app. Activation fee is just a little token. Make sure what you pay and get your app fully activated. We'll back to this question, but for now, let us talk about what? The alkynes. All right, so now, alkynes, we say that I also call what? Acetylenes. And remember, we said earlier that what? That alkynes are what? Alkynes, they are saturated. You must take note of that. All right, I said that what? Alkynes, they are what? Unsaturated. All right, and of course, lastly, we say that what alkynes. All right, we say that what they are also what unsaturated. All right, so the first thing you need to note here is that what that alkynes are what they are unsaturated what hydrocarbons. All right, they are unsaturated what hydrocarbon that are characterized. All right, with the presence of carbon to carbon triple bonds. All right, they are, they are characterized by what the presence of what. Carbon to carbon, what triple bond? You must take note of that. They are unsaturated, what hydrocarbons that are what characterized by what carbon to carbon, what triple what bonds. You must take note of that. All right. So now, likewise, it is important to know the first family of the alkynes, which is the first member, which is the first alkyne that we have. Already know that oh, we cannot have what methane. Methane is not possible, okay? That means methane will have just one carbon atom. So what will not, what will it not be bonded to? So for these three bonds to, to occur, okay, to be present, we will need what, at least two carbons, okay? That is why the simplest member, member rather, of the alkyne family is what? It's a time, all right? A time is the simplest member of the alkyne family. Ethyne has how many carbon atoms? Ethyne has or two carbon atoms. This is what the structure of ethyne. All right, you can complete your structure. Okay, either you put your hydrogen, you put your hydrogen here, or you put it here. Anyone you do is correct. All right, this is what ethyne. Okay, so 
uh, this structure is complete because you can see the bond around carbon atom here. This carbon atom is four. One, two, three, four. It's complete, like I've told you before, and I've keep on saying there can only be four bonds surrounding what a carbon atom. All right, so this is what one, two, three, four. Also, so this is what balance. Okay, so this is what a time. It is what the simplest what alkyne. All right, and it's also very important that we take note of what of this a time. A time itself. The purest form of ethane is very, very unstable. It is highly what unstable. The purest form of ethane is highly unstable. And it is also very endothermic. All right? It is very, very endothermic. And it is what? Unstable. So because of that, it cannot just be what? Be compressed. Okay? And kept. Instead, we store what ethane. Okay? Because of what? How unstable it is. We store them in what? In steel cylinders. In steel cylinders okay take note of that we store them what in steel cylinders in solution don't just do, do keep them in steel cylinders like that we keep them in steel we store them in what in steel cylinders in solution in propanone in propanone Okay, so you must take note of what this propanone, all right? So I think this is a past question from Jan. We're going to look at this even at the end of the class. So please make sure you want to stick with us, right? So we said that what we store what this is time in what? In steel cylinders, in solution, in propanone. Okay, so please take note of this. At also at a what? At a pressure, you must take note of that. At a pressure of what? 12 ATM. Okay, at what? 12 atmospheric what pressure. All right, so you must take note of what of that. So that is what the simplest alkyne, which is what a time. And I said that what it is very, very, very unstable. The purest form of a time is very unstable, and because of that, it it is taught study what in steel cylinders in solution in propanone at what at a pressure of what 12 atmospheric what pressure. All right, so now that is that. So let us look at other things about what uh, the alkynes. Okay, so let us look at the hybridization. All right, so alkynes are what now? They are sp hybridized. Alkynes, they are sp hybridized. Okay, they are what sp sp what hybridized. Okay, so they are sp hybridized. Alkynes are sp hybridized. Take note of that. We are going to see. I think this 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 is this. Definitely is in a past question. Okay, so alkynes are sp hybridized. What is the shape of what of alkynes? Alkynes are what they are. They have what a linear what shape, linear shaped. They are linear what shaped. And what is the bond angle? The bond angle in alkyne is what one hundred and eighty degree. Take note of that. All right, they are linear shaped. having a bond angle of one hundred and eighty degree. All right, they. They show they undergo what you call structural isomerism. All right, so they only undergo structural isomerism, chain, position, functional group isomerism, all under structural. So they show what structural isomerism. Take note of that. All right, structural isomerism. Okay, so please take note of that. So they show what structural what isomerism, and of course they also undergo what various what addition. Reaction, hydrogenation, halogenation, uh, um, hydro halogenation, and so on and so forth. All right. So they undergo what addition reactions also. So please take note of that. They undergo what addition reactions. Okay. So that is what uh, the profile of the alkynes as we have, as we have started seeing. And of course, what is more is that. The first four members of the alkynes, all right, is the first the first member is what is a time to start with. Okay, then we now have what after a time we have what propine. Okay, then we now have what butine. All right, then of course the last one is what is the, the fourth one rather is what is pentine. All right, so these first four members they are what they are gases. Okay, they are gases. They are what gases. These four members. First four members, they are gases, right? And then the next nine, the next nine members, okay, they are what? They are solids. Why the higher alkynes, the higher alkynes, they are what? They are solids, okay? Please take note of that. The first four members here, okay, ethyne, propyne, butyne, pentyne, all right? They are what? They are gases, all right? The next nine members are what? They are solids, sorry, they are what? They are liquids, 
they are liquid. The next nine members are liquids. Why what? The higher are kinds, they are what? They are solids. So take note of what of that. Okay, so now, likewise, another important thing we need to know about the alkynes is that they are what? They are soluble in organic solvents. Okay, alkynes, they are soluble. They are soluble in organic solvents. Organic solvents like what? Like benzene and what? And ether. All right, so they are soluble in organic solvent like what? Like benzene and ether. So that is what they are kinds. They are soluble in organic solvent like benzene and what? And ether. And they are what? Sparingly soluble in water. They are sparingly soluble. Say they are sparingly, sparingly soluble in what? In water. All right. And, um, likewise, it's also important to know that what they are more unsaturated. Than more than the alkenes, all right, and of course, also in terms of reactivity, in terms of reactivity, the alkenes obviously they are mostly unreactive, okay, they are mostly unreactive because of how saturated they are with, with hydrogen atoms. So, alkenes are least reactive. Then, the next one that are reactive are the alkenes, then, before they were the alkynes, the alkynes are more reactive than the alkenes, all right, and the alkenes are more reactive than the word alkenes, all right. So, please. Take note of that also. Also, ethane is a colorless, sweet-smelling gas that is slightly less dense than hair. Ethane is a colorless, it's a colorless, sweet-smelling gas that is what less dense than what than hair. You must take note of all this about what the alkynes. Okay, so as we begin to what. Look further into our kinds. We're going to look at what the preparations of our kinds. Then look at the reactions that our kinds undergo. All right. Then we'll talk about tests for what? For triple bonds. All right. So where we'll talk about ammonia, car, silver nitrate, and copper one chloride, even bromine water. All right. And so on and so forth. So please make sure you commit all this to what to, to memory. All right. Commit them to memory. They are, they are important. That's why we are stating them. Questions come out from them. So please do not forget to like this video. Do not forget to what to subscribe to this channel and do not forget to keep sharing this video to your friends and loved ones. Let's, so let us see the questions from the app. This is a 2001 question number 48. They say, which of the following represent hybridization in a time? Okay, it's already very clear. We said that what? It are kinds, generally they are what? SP hybridized. They are what? SP hybridized. So, or a time is an alkyne. So for that reason, D will be our most correct option. Let's see another question. Um, 2014, number 43. 2014, number 43. It says, due to the unstable nature of ethane, it is stored by dissolving in A, say propanol, B, ethanoic acid, C, propanone, D, ethane, one, two, diol. All right, as I say, due to the unstable nature of ethane, all right, it is stored what, in what? In what? In propanone. I think I stated it here. All right. I said that what? They are stored in steel cylinders in solution in propanone. Okay. So they are stored what? In what? By dissolving them what? In propanone. Correct answer will be option C. Then likewise, uh, there is have one more question to look at. All right. Um, okay. Okay, so there are so many other questions that what you can uh, decide to, what to look at, all right, from the app. Just search for our kinds. You see a lot of questions, all right? So please, make use of the application. My name remains Master T, the Grand Commander of this great army, all right? I would love to see you in the next class where we'll start discussing preparation of our kinds. Thank you for watching. See you there.